Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a short tutorial on how to do Tysino's Deadly Step Back. Now, I'm just calling it Tysino's Deadly Step Back because I've seen Tysino do it the most out of all, you know, just the content creators I've seen. And I don't know what the proper name for this is, but I'm about to put a clip on the screen on uh, what this move is and you're gonna learn this move in this video. So Tysino, if you are watching this, please don't copyright me for this 10 second clip. But here it is on the screen. He missed. Nice! I got corner. Fake him out. Chill. <sighs> I'm going for a fadeaway right side corner, okay? Alright. Green. Nah. That was weird. Oh my god! I ain't gonna lie, he just fucking killed me. He just fucked me up. So Tassino has been doing this move for... I don't even know. I've seen him do it in 2K19. I've seen him do it in 2K20. He's been doing it in 2K21. And I really haven't ever learned how to do it. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna just going to shoot around into my court, you know, and just mess about. So as you can see, I am on my shot creator. I'm 82 rated. I'm just gonna show you my badges. I don't have difficult shots. You know, to do this move consistently, I would say, to green this move anyway. You can do this move if you're a point guard, shooting guard, you know, if you have the ball handle. But if you don't have difficult shots, you're not going to be able to consistently green. You know, if you get shot crank takeover, that's totally different. You know, if in takeover, your player becomes insane. But I would recommend to actually have difficult shots on. Obviously, I just got 2K21 the other day, so I really haven't been, uh, you know, getting that many badges. But I am grinding right now. So difficult shots is a must. So I'm going to put this on Hall of Fame 1 million percent. It's just, you know, right now at the moment, I'm just... I'm just doing the best I can with the badges I have. So, let's get into the ball machine and I'm gonna show you how to do this move. I'm gonna try to put a controller on the screen and how to point the arrows, you know, in the directions, whatever, blah, blah, blah. If, I, I'm gonna try, okay? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So this move is best uh, off a catch. You can do this anywhere on the court. But as you saw in the video that I put on uh, on the screen, Tysuno done it in the corner, right here, in the same corner, just you know, he was on the two score. So this is what the move looks like. So you're gonna go like, and you're gonna fade. So obviously it's taking me out, but in the in the match it's not gonna take you out. Right now it's just taking me out because I can freely walk around, you know, there's gonna be a little border and it's not gonna take you out as much. So in order to do this, and I'm just gonna show you, you can do this really anywhere in the corners and, you know, in the middle. And as you can see, it looks really nice. Honestly, you can catch ankles with this. It just, you send people, it looks really good. So, basically, once you catch the ball, so you're, make sure your player isn't bouncing the ball, you know? So here I can just pump fake and, you know, for me it's fine. But in a match, make sure you are in the position you want to be in before you actually, you know, start. Because once you start dribbling, you won't be able to do this. So if you run around, blah, 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 you know, you've caught the ball and then, and then you know, it's not gonna work here. Your player's not gonna do it. So it has to be off a catch. But obviously here I can just do a pump fake and then I can carry him. You're gonna wanna be holding R2 or RT, right trigger. I'm on PlayStation, so it's R2. For the entire move that you're doing, you know, you can let go of it once you shoot, but the first thing you hold down R2 and with your right stick, just forget your left stick, with your right stick, you're gonna just smoothly flick up and down. So flick up and down smoothly, just like up down. This might take a few attempts to get, you know, just to pra just practice it in your mic court, just shoot around. It's not that difficult. Honestly, if I can do it, all of you can do it because I'm not good at dribbling, you know, I'm just I'm just a shot creator, you know, I shoot fadeaways and stuff. But yeah, you shoot, uh, hold R2, up, down on the right stick, and then you're going to hold down square. So you can, once you hold R2, up, down on the right stick, you can let go of R2 then. So R2, up, down, let go. Okay, he didn't do it then because I was bouncing it, my bad. And I just noticed that right now. But this is what the move will look like when... There we go. As you can see, my green window isn't very high. Like I said, I haven't maxed out my build yet. I'm only 82 rated, no difficult shots. But yeah. There we go, we greened on. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this short little tutorial, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, I'm going to be grinding 2k21 this year. Right now I'm not trying to put out as many videos uh, as I possibly could, as I'm only playing on current gen, I'm just getting a feel for the game. I'm going to get PlayStation 5 once that releases, 
from there we're gonna start the proper grind on the channel you know on 2k and other games in general on the new gen console but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new and turn on those post notifications to never miss an upload from me again and i'll see you in the next video